Hi there guys and welcome to this lesson on Guitar Interactive. My name is Tom Quayle and today I'm going to be helping you to expand your blues playing. Um, we're going to take a blues in the key of G, so we've got three chords, we've got G7, C7 and D7 and I'm going to show you over the first two chords, the G and the C, how you can uh, make a more interesting transition between those two chords. Um, so first of all, let me show you the chord sequence. Um, the first chord, G7, we're going to play with this particular voicing here. So first finger goes on E3, your second finger goes on D3, so we're skipping out the A string, and then your little or third finger goes on G3. You're going to ignore the top two strings, and with a single downstroke we get this G7 chord. Okay, our C7, the second chord in our uh, blues, is going to be second finger on A3, first finger on D2, and then your third finger on the G string at the third fret, and again we miss out the E and the top two strings and we get this. Now our D7 is just this shape shifted up two frets. Okay, so G7, C7, D7, and G7. So our sequence, when we put them together, this is a standard 12-bar blues, sounds like this. Really basic 12 bar blues. Now there's a problem with this when we're soloing. Generally what we do is we use a G minor pentatonic over the whole thing. Um, so this particular scale. Which sounds great, it gives us a really bluesy sound, but because that G7 that we initially play lasts for so long, it gets boring. And we need something at the end of that series of G7 chords to transition us or create some tension and release to give us uh, the tension that comes, you know, the release comes from the C7 chord. So basically, if we play four bars of, C, of G7, like this, by the time you get to that C7 chord, you've heard more than enough G7, okay? Now when you're soloing, the same thing's gonna happen. If you just keep playing G minor pentatonic, or if you're a more advanced player, you play G mixolydian over this particular chord, you're going to get bored of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a new sound or a new scale that you can use in this fourth bar.